Beneath the sands of Egypt, in a shadowy necropolis hidden just beyond the reach of Cairo's chaos, lie 24 massive granite boxes. So large, so precise, and so anomalous that even the most seasoned archaeologists are left speechless. Weighing up to 100 tons each and carved from some of the hardest stone on Earth, these ancient monoliths have sparked a debate that crosses the lines of history, engineering, and even the boundaries of our known science. Were they tombs, machines, or relics of a civilization lost to time? Today we journey deep into the ancient Serapium of Saqqara, where the mystery of the granite boxes continues to defy explanation. And what we'll uncover challenges everything we thought we knew about the capabilities of ancient Egypt. Why would the ancient Egyptians carve a hundred ton granite boxes and bury them underground in pitch black tunnels? The Serapeum is a vast subterranean complex dating back over 3,000 years. It was rediscovered in the 19th century by French Egyptologist Auguste Mariette who stumbled upon a partially buried sphinx that led him to an underground world of vaulted chambers and tunnels. Inside were dozens of massive sarcophagus-like boxes, each housed in its own niche, some sealed and others open, revealing a haunting emptiness. Constructed from precision-cut granite and basalt, materials that rivaled diamond in hardness, these boxes weren't just heavy, they were machined with tolerances of less than a millimeter. Tool marks, sharp corners, and perfectly flat surfaces suggest a level of craftsmanship far beyond what was believed possible for the time. So why go to such effort? Egyptologists say these were sarcophagi for the apis bulls, sacred animals mummified and buried with honors. But the dimensions, quality, and difficulty of the engineering suggest something far more complex. If these were tombs, why are many of them empty? And why such over-engineered perfection for cattle? Some of these boxes are too large to fit through the tunnels, so how did they get there? The logistics are baffling. Each granite box weighs between 60 to 100 tons, yet the tunnels that house them are narrow, winding, and chiseled directly into bedrock. If the boxes were made elsewhere, how were they transported? And if they were carved in place, how did workers manage it in near total darkness without evidence of soot or advanced lighting? And to this day, no one has reproduced the same kind of precision cutting using tools known to have existed in ancient Egypt. Modern engineers suggest that only diamond-tipped drills or advanced saws, absent in the historical record, could replicate these results. Even with today's machinery, maneuvering a 100-ton block underground without breaking it is a logistical nightmare. Could we be looking at lost ancient technologies, or even evidence of knowledge passed down from a civilization predating the Egyptians themselves? What if these boxes weren't just meant to house something, but to do something? Some researchers believe the granite boxes may have had an acoustic or energetic purpose. When struck, they produce a deep, resonant hum, almost like a tuning fork. The precision and density of the stone allows it to vibrate at specific frequencies. Could the ancient builders have used sound as a form of resonance, perhaps for ritualistic or unknown technological purposes? Interestingly, the serapium itself seems to amplify this acoustic effect. Sound reverberates through the narrow halls, creating a disorienting echo chamber that seems intentional. Some fringe theorists even suggest that the boxes were part of an ancient energy system, akin to piezoelectric generators or harmonic resonance chambers. While these ideas sit far outside mainstream archaeology, they raise a tantalizing question. What if the Egyptians, or those who came before, understood sound and energy in ways we are only beginning to explore? What if the boxes are older than the pharaohs themselves? While the Serapium is officially dated to the reign of Pharaoh Ramesses II, around 1250 BCE, the actual boxes may be much older. Some scholars argue that the quality and scale of the boxes don't match the rest of the site, suggesting they were repurposed or inherited by later dynasties. Weathering patterns and stylistic differences imply that the granite containers may have been built during an earlier, more advanced period, 
possibly even before the dynastic Egyptians. This aligns with theories of a forgotten pre-cataclysmic civilization that possessed advanced knowledge, later lost in a global upheaval. If true, these boxes could be among the last remnants of that lost chapter in human history. Despite decades of study, no one has provided a definitive explanation, and perhaps that's what makes them so compelling. Mainstream archaeology holds to the theory of Apis bull tombs, but the lack of inscriptions, the technical overkill, and the empty chambers raise eyebrows. Some of the boxes have inscriptions, though often crude and likely added long after their construction. This suggests they were retrofitted, not originally intended for animal burials. The absence of hieroglyphs on most boxes is unusual for ancient Egyptian monuments, which were typically rich with religious and ceremonial text. Were these boxes sacred for another reason? Or were they never meant to be seen? The Serapium's granite giants continue to whisper a story that doesn't quite fit into our current understanding of history. Whether tombs, resonators, or relics of a lost science, these massive boxes remain one of the most enigmatic archaeological finds on Earth. Their presence invites us to question the limits of ancient knowledge and reminds us that the past may still be holding secrets we're not ready or able to decode. Perhaps the greatest mystery is not the boxes themselves, but the silent intelligence behind their creation. If the mystery of Egypt's massive granite boxes left you stunned, just wait. Because what scientists uncovered in India might be even more baffling. A colossal ancient structure built with engineering that defies logic is pushing the boundaries of what we thought ancient civilizations were capable of. Nestled deep within the rugged landscape of Karnataka, India, a land already rich in ancient history and archaeological wonders, stands Maliabad Fort, a colossal enigma that throws into sharp relief the limitations of our current understanding of the past. While officially attributed to the 13th century Delhi Sultanate, a closer examination of this monumental structure reveals a narrative far more complex, more ancient, and potentially revolutionary. Maliabad Fort is not merely a medieval bastion. It's a palimpsest of history, with layers of occupation and construction that hint at a civilization lost to time, a civilization capable of feats of engineering that defy conventional explanations. The immediate and overwhelming challenge to the accepted narrative comes from the fort's perimeter walls. Imagine a structure that stretches for a staggering five kilometers, encircling a vast area. These aren't the typical, relatively modest fortifications of medieval India. These walls rise almost 10 meters in height, a formidable barrier constructed from granite blocks of truly colossal proportions.